Hey guys, welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss Selenium Grid. What is Selenium Grid? Overview, how it works, and why you should use Selenium Grid for your test execution. So let's get started. First of all, I should discuss what is Selenium Grid. But before discussing Selenium Grid, let's first discuss Parallel execution. What is parallel execution? So, parallel execution means running your test script or test cases simultaneously. Means we are running more than one test script or test case at the same time. Let's say if you have 100 automated test cases, and by default, when you execute your script, then those tests will run sequentially, where the test case runs one by one means a second test runs only after the first test case is done but this sequential execution approach is very time consuming so to reduce the execution time we can run our automated test cases in parallel parallel execution not only helps in reducing execution time but also is very handy in case of cross browser testing when we have to test our application on two different browsers let's say chrome and firefox then we can run our test on both browsers in parallel to get the results faster now we know the benefit of parallel execution so let's move back to selenium grid selenium grid is a mechanism or a tool which provides the facility of parallel execution of web driver scripts on local and remote machines. It also provides the facility to run scripts on different browser versions, also on different browser types. Also, apart from different browser types, we can run our test cases on different platform as well by using this Selenium grid. Selenium Grid is made up of multiple components and with the help of those components, we can run our automated test in parallel. So out of those components, the main components are hub and nodes. Though I would discuss each components in detail, but today let's start with the two main components first. That is hub and node. So what is hub? Hub is basically a server which is running on a machine and continuously listen for the request that comes from the web driver client. So when we run our web driver test script on a Selenium grid, then first web driver client connect with the Selenium server and then start forwarding all the requests to the hub. After that, hub processed all those requests by routing test commands to the remote machines or nodes. When we set up a Selenium grid, then we can create only one hub. After hub, the second component is node. Node is also a machine or a server where the test scripts actually run. Nodes are connected with hub. So when hub receives a request from the web client, then hub process the information based on the configuration like where we want to run our test and then hub route the request to the appropriate node so test script doesn't execute on the machine or server where we are running hub until or unless we have created the nodes also on the same machine let's say i created three nodes where one node is having a browser as Chrome, another is having browser as Firefox, and the third one is having Microsoft Edge. Now, when Hub receives the request from the web driver client, then it also receives the information in form of capabilities that where we want to run our script. If you want to run it on Chrome, then Hub routes the request to the node or server where Chrome is available. Similarly, if you want to run our test on Firefox, then Hub will route the request to the server where Firefox is running. 
So the hub basically plays a role of taking the request and then processing it to route it to the correct server. And the role of the node is to run the test on the browser of those servers. We can have any number of nodes connected to the hub. And we can have any number of browser types and browser instances connected to the node. Based on your automation test suite size, you can create multiple nodes to reduce the execution time. Or let's say if you want to perform a cross browser or cross platform test, then you can create different nodes based on the different operating system you want to support. Now the question comes, when should I use Selenium Grid? You might already have got an idea why we should use Selenium Grid because we have discussed what Selenium Grids can provide. But let's revisit that why you should use Selenium Grid for your test execution. If you want to run your test on different browser types, browser versions and operating systems, then it is advised to use Selenium Grid. Let's say you have an automated test script of 500 test cases and you want to test your application on multiple browsers, let's say on four browser for compatibility tests. So instead of running your script one by one on each different browsers, instead you can use Selenium Grid to run your test on all four browsers at same time. And at the end of the execution, you will have the test results for all compatible browsers. Apart from browsers, if you want to run your test on Windows, Linux, or Mac machine, then also you can utilize the Selenium Grid to run your test across those different platforms on a single click. Let's say even if you don't have any requirement to perform cross browser and cross platform testing, but you have a large number of automated tests. In that case also, you can use Selenium Grid to run your scripts in parallel to reduce execution time. So for a large number of automated test suits, you can save several hours or perhaps days by running your test in parallel using the Selenium Grid. Let's say, for an example, if you have 500 automated test cases and each takes around 5 minutes to execute, then it will take around 42 hours if we execute them sequentially. But if we run our test cases in parallel, let's say if I increase my test cases execution count by 10 times using parallel execution, then the execution time will be reduced by 10 times, which will be around 4 hours. And if I increase it by 20 times, which I can easily do with the help of Selenium Grid, then the execution time will reduce to 2 hours only. So these are the benefits of using Selenium Grid. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.